Hello, Econ Games team. In this video, I want to show you how to make a sand key diagram. Now, what a sand key diagram is, is that it takes an initial position and it can make flows go from that position to another position. It's a, a nice way just to show how things move from point A to point B to point C. Okay. The nice thing about this particular website is that it also provides you with code. So I can click on this particular picture. It will show me the nice lit up sand key, but it'll also give me the code. So the code here that you see, I'm going to be using that in R in order to be able to make our picture. Now, the challenge that I gave to you was to take a bunch of econ majors in a particular data set and see what jobs they go into. That's the basic gist of it. And so the way we do that is we're going to come to a different website called IPUMS. IPUMS is a census-based uh, website. You do need to create an account. It's free as long as you have a .edu account. I'm going to come over here to IPUMS USA. So I click on IPUMS USA. I'm going to be using the online tool for analysis, although you can get the full data set if you go over here. <clears throat> and then from there, I need to say what um, survey I want to use. I'm using... 2023, the American Community Survey. You can see it's going to ask for my account. Notice I have that .edu account, so do you. I go ahead and I log in, and it's going to bring up this particular uh, page. What I'm going to need are a couple of variables. Now, there's a whole bunch of variables in here. I already know which ones I want. This is going to be a short video. OCC stands for Occupational Code. I'll show you what that means in a little bit. For the column, I'm going to split things up by gender. For my uh, uh, reduction or filtered, so I only have econ majors and I only have it for one year, I'm going to put degree and field. 5501 is for economics and 6205 is for business economics. The year that we're going to concentrate on is 2023. So then I have to do just a few more things. Uh, when I do this, I want to just get rid of these percentages. I really just need the counts. And I want this as a CSV file. So that's going to come down here. When I hit create CSV file, it's going to go ahead and run its program and go ahead and generate it for me. There it is. I already have it. So before I do that, um, uh, I'll show it to you here in a second. In fact, it's, it's right here. Here it is showing the male column, the female column, and then the total of the rows. You can see that I have these different numbers here. Now, you might be asking where these numbers come from. Well, those are the occupational codes. Where are the occupational codes? Let's go back to that data set. You notice that we have this thing here called codebook. If we click on the codebook, it's going to list all of the variables that are possible in that group. We want OCC. Oh, there it is. When I grab OCC, you're going to go to variable description. And then underneath variable description, you're going to go to codes. We're going to be taking this very last one since our year is 2023. And here are all those same codes. Now, 00, zero means that it's not actable, simply that um, no, the person uh, didn't have an occupation, even though they were uh, a major. <clears throat> Here you can see all the different types of occupations, and that's the list that we have. I'm actually going to aggregate these up to these levels. So I'm going to take all those folks and just call them all management, business, whatever. Once I add up those values, I get this other table here. So this tells me everyone who is in computer engineering, who's male or male econ person, and then the number of people in there. I'm going to create this table. I'm going to save it as econ OCC, and then I'm going to bring it into R. And so in R, I took that original code that we saw on the previous sheet. Okay, that original code that we saw on the previous sheet. I bring it over here. This doesn't have uh, the data yet. I have to bring the data in. I do need some packages. So the library package I'm going to be using here is network D3. That's going to do most of the work for us. And the other one here is just to clean things up, is dplyr. R. In order to bring in that Excel sheet, I got to come over to this little spreadsheet. I'm going to click Excel. 
I'm going to browse, find where I saved my document, which I believe I did underneath uh, downloads. There's my econ CC. I'm going to go ahead and open that file. Oops. You can see that it read it in well. I'm going to hit import. And now it appears here in my uh, group. I am then going to go through and make sure that everywhere where I need to uh, put in the data frame for the source, the target, and all that stuff. Remember that source is where it starts, target is where it's going, and this is the number or the flow that's going to each one of those. I make sure I put those in to each of the spots. I'm just copying and pasting it over. I will give you this file so you can play with it later if you want to do something else. <clears throat> and then from there, I'm going to just run it. So let me highlight the whole thing. Run. And it created the package for me. What's really neat about this specific package is that it's actually interactive, so you can run your cursor over it and highlight it. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit of a problem for us when it comes to uh, using it. So what I end up doing it is uh, I end up uh, exporting this out in, into a web page, opening up the web page, and then printing the web page as a PDF. But this is, uh, in a nutshell, what we're trying to do for this particular project. Um, I would have done this over half an hour, step by step with you, trying to explain all the different steps. But here is a very, very short version in case you want to try on your own and you're uh, a little bit familiar with R. All right, that's it. Take care.